In the headlines today, walnuts each day keep colon cancer at bay, ginger with chemotherapy, and diet alters survival after diagnosis. Eating walnuts may change gut bacteria in a way that suppresses bowel cancer, according to a recent study on mice. University of Connecticut researchers compared the effects of walnuts on two groups of mice. One fed a standard mouse diet and the other a diet similar to the standard American diet with lots of fat and processed carbs. Some mice in each group also consumed walnuts. Male mice assigned to the standard American diet appeared to benefit the most when walnuts were added. While the reason for the benefit is not proven, researchers found that those eating walnuts had increased levels of cancer protective bacteria in their digestive tract. And we also know that walnuts contain high levels of omega-3 fats and vitamin E, and they have a history of reducing the risk of prostate and breast cancer. Ginger appears to have antioxidant activity and can reduce the oxidative stress induced by chemotherapy, which causes many of the side effects like nausea and vomiting and toxicity to kidneys, lungs and heart. In a recent study in Thailand, patients with a new cancer diagnosis were given either a placebo or 10 milligrams of ginger extract called 6-gingerol twice a day. They began taking it three days before and continued through four cycles of treatment. Blood levels of antioxidants and oxidants were measured during the trial. Those on ginger sustained higher levels of antioxidants and had less oxidative stress. Those on placebo pills had a steady decline in antioxidants. There were not enough patients to assess side effects. People with colorectal cancer can halve their risk of death by changing their diet. Researchers in northern Germany took a diet history from 1,400 colorectal cancer survivors six years after their diagnosis and followed them for another seven to see how the Mediterranean diet or a healthy Nordic diet might change the risk of death. A Mediterranean diet was associated with a 52% lower risk of death and a healthy Nordic diet with a 37% lower risk compared with people who didn't follow these diets. A Nordic diet was selected because it was a regional diet that could preserve health, culture and the environment. Amongst other things, it included cruciferous veggies, apples, pears, oatmeal, rye bread, root crops, including carrots. The takeaway message from this study is that if you have had colorectal cancer, a diet rich in whole grains, legumes, fruit and veggies is the way to go. I'm Dr. Nerida McKibben and that's today's Health News. Thank you.